I'm just gonna go gloves off Cornwood, man. Plutus, are you being sued? Wait, I have a court case? This is gonna be such a shit lordy case, dude. I was not ready for this at all. So for uh, Feed Ruby and Feed Cornwood, be advised, we had two members of Chain Gang get shot down. Unknown who shot them. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> are they in ICU? Uh, negative. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just gonna go gloves off Cornwood, man. At this point, like it's, I just, I just do not care anymore. <laughs> I just will do whatever the hell. <laughs> when I'm playing RP, I will play Cletus Cornwood. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> WWCD. What would Cornwood do? What? Oh God. Holy shit! All the phones went over the same. That was crazy. Oh, Cletus. Are you being sued? Wait, I have a court case. Wait, this was Plutus. like this is from something from like three months ago. Hello, hey, Cornwood. Howdy, sorry about that. Nice of you to join us oh, this good. time. Yeah, sorry, I, I wasn't even aware of uh, get a case here today. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm just gonna get out of the court case as soon as possible. By the, the PD car car driven by Cletus Cornwood exercise excessive amounts of force when colliding with the jet ski. As such, the plaintiff is seeking compensation for damages suffered in this event. Cornwood, do you have an opening statement? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, that did not happen. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is gonna be such a shit lordy case, dude. I was not ready for this at all. Do you recall if, there's a, if there was any authorization for pit on any vehicles during the pursuit? Uh, objection, relevance. We are talking about a vehicle collision with uh, any vehicles today, so. Uh, it don't really matter to the case whether or not uh, pit was approved or not, if there was a incidental contact that was made from vehicle to vehicle. I'm gonna overrule it. I do think that there could be some material uh, matter to the case at hand whether there's approval or not. Was the position in which the car car was a standard position in which you would have in a pursuit in order to divert path of travel to slow them down? Yes. And was there still a room on the waterway for the jet ski to continue traveling? I honestly can't remember the details of that. I can't recall. Was Katarina tased? Uh, yeah, I believe there was a taser deployment. You said she was underneath the jet ski. Given Newton's first law of motion, if an object is in motion, stays in motion, unless acted upon by an outside force, is it safe to assume if something is underneath the jet ski that used to be on top of the jet ski, that the jet ski then continue <laughs> to move forward? <laughs> Objection? I think this question is more of a... There's just science, okay? This ain't no opinion. You gotta go forward, and, you know, if there's room in between, you gotta go forward. And... I'm not gonna lie to you, Cornwood. I don't understand what you're asking. <laughs> How the hell do you think she ended up underneath the jet ski if the car car ran into her? The jet ski had to move forward. Is that leading? Like, <laughs> Council's testifying, I guess? No. <laughs> you were a rebuttal, Cornwood? Oh, no. Dude, right, this is so right. stupid. I didn't even know about the court case. <laughs> hey, Mr. Cornwood, did you participate in the initial pursuit? Yes, I did. Where were you in the pursuit? Uh, objection relevance. Uh, it don't really matter where I was in the pursuit until the the very end, whenever we were uh, attempt to apprehend the suspect. I uh, I'm I'm going to overrule the objection. If you'd please answer the question. Uh, okay. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Did you make contact with the jet ski? At what point in time? The collision. The jet ski made contact with me. You're saying a water-based craft made contact with a truck? Yes. Did you say the jet ski was already at a complete stop or was about to stop? I thought it was at a complete stop, but I mean, clearly there was some degree of, you know, when talking about Newton's first law, there clearly had to be some degree of force being administered to the jet ski to have it continue moving forward after she had knocked off. Hazel Luna had gotten on the jet ski at this point. Maybe the weight of her caused it to move forward in the water. What are you implying on Hazel Luna's weight? Objection leading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna overrule that. You can continue and answer the question. Hazel Luna has a weight that of which is uh, greater than zero. Are we talking passenger princess or passenger boulder type of greater than zero? <laughs> I plead the fifth. Okay, well, hold on here. <laughs> you plead the fifth. Actually, I don't even think you can plead the fifth. Really. Shit. Okay. Uh, opinion of a lay person. Objection myself. I'm not a weight scale. Never. I'm not even gonna let you rebut to that. I. <laughs> I, I'm gonna sustain that because Cornwood has never been the kind of person that can identify how heavy someone has been or how heavy something could be. If you look at him, he's clearly a slim, slender man and he would agree with that, right, Cornwood? I'm exactly the right Objection. size. Objection. That's right. So, <laughs> disregard. Can you describe what kind of motion you took to cut the jet ski off or at least to impede the impede their path? 
Oh shit, we got a projector in here. Oh my god. So kind of like that. Why is the jet ski tipping? <laughs> well, you know, greater than zero. I took a wide angle coming in, okay. gave them ample room. She was tased off and then it continued to coast forward for a bit. And then it hit the side of my vehicle. Then it bounced back. How many meters yeah, is it between the truck and the uh, jet ski from your Excuse reference? you. Oh, sorry. How many freedom units is it between the truck and the uh, jet ski? Maybe five. You're saying that a watercraft like that has enough time to maneuver around a truck in a distance that's less than the first down in football. This ain't no 18 wheeler. This is a jet ski. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, Mr. Cornwood. That'll be it from us, uh, Judge Angel. Okay, um, so you don't really have a legal counsel that can ask you questions on cross, Cornwood. Can I cross myself? <laughs> I'm willing to allow it. See where this goes. Okay. Because you're crossing yourself, so please just give at least five seconds before you answer your question to ensure that they don't have an objection, okay? Mr. Cornwood. Howdy. You said earlier that, uh, that 15 feet and that five yards is a uh, ample distance in order for a jet ski to be able to move. How do you know this? Uh, well, I mean, I've been in this situation plenty of times, jet ski getaways and whatnot, so I, I know how fast that, that thing can turn and move, and whether it's a jet ski, a motorcycle, I mean, all these different kinds of, and uh, it's, it's, it's really not so, objection relevance. Did you just subject to yourself? To yourself? I did. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. We're perfectly fine with it, Your Honor. You're okay. Okay. All right. Um, do you have a rebuttal? Well, he's talking about some shit that don't matter to the case. I mean, I was just talking about my normal police work. Yeah, but I, I mean, you just kind of kept going for no reason. It didn't matter. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> All right. I'll sustain that. I was trying to keep on topic. All right. Thank you. What the hell? I, I mean, I was just asking questions. It's fine. Hey, stop it. The stop you're disrespecting ask, the you're judge. You're going to ask Cornwood some questions. I don't need your help, Cornwood. You're going to ask Cornwood these questions, and you're going to be respectful to me in this corner at the same time I will submit a bar complaint on you. Absolutely, ma'am. I apologize. All right, I get it, and it's, it's fine. Oh, well, I have no further questions then. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Uh, you can go ahead and step down. Would you say the uh, diagram that was presented on the projector was a correct uh, depiction of how the um, collision uh, happened? No. How did the collision happen then? This is the jet ski. Let's say the waterway is from this line to this line here that I'm stepping on here. Okay, this is the whole canal. Okay, you're on. Okay. And <laughs> Cornwood was right here. It was facing this way. Okay, it was not yet on the runway. Right here. As I was here, <laughs> like that. And that's how the collision happened, you're on. Thank you very much for demonstrating that for us. How close was the vehicle to you once they made that maneuver? One yard. Objection. Yes, what's your objection? Opinion of a layperson. She's not a mathematician or a ge geometrist. We can test this very easily. Katarina, what's three plus two? Five. What's five, seven divided by two? Any day now. 23.5. Sorry, sorry. 28.5. Yeah, you're right. She is not a mathematician. Well, yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Katarina. Yes, Mr. Cornwood. You said you couldn't do your job as a mechanic at Milton's Mines. Is that right? Yes. What kind of repairs are you doing with your legs? <laughs> objection. Well, I'm just asking why you need your legs to repair shit. <laughs> What's the objection, Tony? Um, scope relevance? I believe the scope had been opened. The scope, the legs, not the legs. <laughs> I, I do find it to be in scope. I do need to find in scope. It is relevant as well, so I'm going to overrule that. You can continue. Is there nothing you could have done to, you know, just pick yourself up by your bootstraps and just, like, lean on the car or some shit? Objection? <laughs> Sorry, he's basically asking if there's any sort of medical alternatives to allow her to work or anything like that. Look, she she knows the limits of her own body. That's that's what I'm getting at, okay? And just, actually, you know what? I withdraw. Okay. <laughs> like I said before, I, I have an artificial leg as my right leg, so just with that, it restrains me a lot of things to, that I can do. All I'm saying is if you find a way to do it with, you know, you're already missing one leg, you know, what's what's two? Kenner, were you medically cleared to work as a mechanic? No. That'll be all, Your Honor. Why did you choose to assist Hazel in picking her up whenever she was clearly being arrested? I already said, but I don't remember. Yeah, but once you saw the police, why did you continue? to help Hazel. I guess I was already very close before I was told to leave, so. Cl close, close enough to, to close enough I, to here? Uh, I'd say in between you and Tony. 
So you felt like you were close enough to hear, but you were not close enough to recognize that she was being apprehended. The runway is very, very, very shallow. So turning around with a jet ski in that, uh, I would have probably go off of the water trying to turn around. So. Objection, uh, opinion of a layperson. You asked the question, Cordman. Yeah, well, I'm objecting to that. She's already answered it, so it's in the record. Motion to strike it from the record. For, because why? Well, she obviously doesn't know how to drive a jet ski. It was stolen. She doesn't own it. She could easily turn that thing around. Okay, it's, it sounds like you just want to stricken from the record because you don't like the incident. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, why'd you put yourself in harm's way in order to uh, help Hazel? I didn't say I was trying to help Hazel. You're assuming I knew I, I knew what I was getting to. From how far away did you see the police vehicles? I don't remember exactly. Miss Katarina, when's the last time you had an eye exam? <laughs> I mean, I miss an eye, uh, Mr. Cornwell. Holy hell, what the hell aren't you missing at this point? <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to closing now. I have reached a verdict and I'm here to read it all to you. So during the deliberations, the court noted a few specific contradictions and an incomplete timeline with regards to the crash itself. There was indeed a collision between the two vehicles. There is, however, one important mitigating factor that needs to be considered. This was all done during the commission of a crime. Now, when individuals are fleeing from police, there is an inherent risk that is associated with the activity. One cannot participate in illegal dangerous activity without accepting the risk on some level. Police do not have any specific use of force dictating the use of vehicles to forcibly remove an occupant from a high mobility craft such as motorcycles or jet skis however they should now the court finds that even if the true nature of the contact between the vehicles uh, was hazy and clear it still would have been a reasonable method of removing someone from the vehicle provided it was done so in a safe and controlled manner oh shit this does not mean that the police could run a jet ski over at 120 miles per hour, <laughs> but a small application of force from a vehicle to vehicle is common and understood to be a common outcome of police pursuits. We do find that the victims suffered from these injuries. However, they ultimately stemmed from a lawful use of force. And as such, we will not be finding the LSPD or Cornwood personally liable for these injuries. The court will find in favor of the LSPD and this matter will be dismissed. This case will also be entered into common law as Katarina Cortina Gonzalez versus the LSPD. Let's go! This court, thank you everyone. Can, can we say LSPD and Cletus Cornwood? Put my name on that Sorry, shit. Sorry, Mr. Cornwood. There's, there's no, sure, there's no put, take back. No, um, no, no. She said yes. I could probably, I could probably put it in there, shit. Yeah, good shit. Why are you taking my case law? No, away? It's, no, it's mine. You'll have to share the case law. <laughs> I don't want to share. <laughs> You're the only high command member to win their lawsuit, <laughs> dude. That's actually so massive the for the PD. Think about. No, the so. only thing that this case law would formulate formalize is that you can use force to remove people from motorcycles and jet skis as long as it's like a reasonable at a low at a low speed now what would you deem to be like a reasonably low speed i'm not gonna answer that question 119 miles an hour 